Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Jenna Elfman, everybody. Jenna Elfman. It's very nice to see you. How are you? You look fantastic. You look just lovely with Thank your pregnancy you. business going on. My huh? business. Yes. It's yeah. how, 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 far, how far along? Uh, I'm four months pregnant. I look much farther. No, no, I don't know. I, You're I'm, being kind. No, no, really, I, I don't know. Honestly, okay. I, can't, yeah, I can't remember if... Uh, what, do people come up and touch it a lot? Not, not so much yet. Um, I'm probably as I get bigger, it'll be more inviting. You know, right now it's closer in my body, so it might be more. So it's a little bit too offensive if they come touch it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a I think too it's offensive to... no matter what. I think you know. The, when I remember my uh, before my son was born, his mother, uh, people would go up and touch her tummy and talk to her like she was stupid. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, you are having a wee baby. Yeah. I know you're like. She's like, What? What? Uh, yeah. Did people do that? I had someone that? come up and. Squeeze my stomach once what? With, when I was my first pregnancy, and I almost—I was like, "Ow!" Yeah, that was rude. And who was it? Some stranger. A stranger. <laughs> A stranger like that. Do you recognize this man? No, not like that. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. They put up a picture of the poor former mayor of East Cleveland. He didn't do that. Let's right now say that he doesn't go around squeezing pregnant women's bellies dressed as a lady. One never knows these no, things. No, no, we never know. Now, how, how are you? How's the new show accidentally on Porpoise? It's awesome. You're right. It's uh, hilarious. We're having so much fun. And I'm working with Ashley Jensen, who's also Scottish. We all know each other. So I have to listen to... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's that. She was on extras with Ricky Gervais, so she's really funny and on Ugly Betty. She's awesome. Yeah, no, I absolutely yeah. that's fantastic. And yeah. and you're making what is the show then? It's about a lady who's pregnant on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose! Ah, ha, ha! <laughs> I got I've got it! But what are you gonna do after the first season? Then you'll have a baby on purpose. It'll be a completely different show. No, it, it's about these relationships. Because she gets she has a one night stand with a guy in his early twenties and then ends up pregnant. And then they, uh, he stays in the in her life because he wants to be there for the baby, but they don't get involved. But yet they live together, and it gets very confusing. And so it's just about all these dynamics. Wait a minute, is there a neighbor who comes and borrows things from the refrigerator? No. <laughs> you might want to get that. Not a neighbor, but his best friend, his, that, his that guy best? who right. was looking at my boobies. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't do that, please. <laughs> Do you, you, you still look very chic, though, for a baby. Are you very, you're very fashionable? Is it all right for the pregnant ladies to get the fashion going? Well, Can one would it? hope so. Yeah, no, but I mean, because I mean, you don't it's... want to get pregnant again, so you got to keep yourself up. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's forward. a method to our madness. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. Uh, you, you're very fashionable, aren't you? I try. No, yeah, you're good. Do you watch the Project Runway? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. Project Runway is a great show. It's my favorite show. I'm obsessed with that show. Well, that show. and Mythbusters. I can't make up my mind. Mythbusters or Project Runway. Very different beasts. Yes, I did. I did Mythbusters, and I feel like I got my share of Mythbusters. But right. Project Runway, I can nook enough. But do you? Do you? Uh, do you, uh, do you? Are you okay with them moving to LA? Because it was always in New York. Yeah, because I feel like the format of the show is the same. I mean, they right. moved from Bravo to Lifetime, and they moved from New York to LA. I feel like it's the same show that I loved before. Well, I tell you, I was a little, uh, I was a little annoyed that Ramon got voted off the uh, last week. Uh, that was injustice. Not, it was an injustice. injustice. Yes, absolutely. And I, Nicholas is a mean person. Who well, was Nicholas? That the little tattooed guy? No, he's the one. No. Oh, that's the. Oh, the that snow... queen with the dank hair. Yes. <laughs> He's it's mean. a queen evening, isn't yeah, it, Rio? Well, you know, hey, it's every night. Um, <laughs> no, I, I don't... I, I'm worried about Tim Gunn, though. Tim... Why? Uh, well, Tim, he's on the show on Friday. I, I'm going to talk to him. Which is not I, okay that you didn't have him tonight. Well, we can't have everybody in this, uh, the same night. It doesn't work like that. Show business has to be meted out in bite-sized chunks or people will just <laughs> overdose on entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, that's our problem. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the problem that CBS has. <laughs> we got too much entertainment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Tim, yeah, that, that, that's way too much entertainment. 
The, uh, no, Tim, is, I always think of Tim as being very New York, kind of a nighttime sort of a guy, very chic, very fashionable. I and bet that guy goes to bed by 8.30. Yeah, he doesn't seem that way to me. He seems fashionable and stuff. He doesn't seem like an out on the towner. Oh no, Tim. Tim likes a night out. Really? I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't <laughs> hang about with me. He's Tim Gunn. He's got fabulous you friends who are him. countesses and everything. He <laughs> hangs out with countesses and members of old British rock bands. He doesn't uh, hang about with with me. With Scots? No, he doesn't have anything to do with that. He's nice. He's very. He's. he's but he doesn't waste his time. All he's. Right. He's got a fabulous jet set lifestyle. Champagne wishes, caviar dreams. That's. Uh, <laughs> That's, That's certainly anyway, what they show in the promo, yes. Yeah, well, and, and the, here's the thing. I worry about him being in L.A. I think it's too bright for him. <laughs> like he needs self-tanner? No, he's just, he's quite translucent. He has a kind of, he's a, he has a white, a white, white skin. He's got the white, white hair. He's very kind of, you know, it looks like... So the, he should use SPF or get a self-tan. Well, this is, this is my problem. <laughs> But doesn't, isn't self-tan dangerous? Nope. <laughs> do, do you self-tan? I did, because I was... What is the difference between self-tan and, and uh, having someone do it for you? No, same. It's, yeah. You can put it on yourself or someone else puts it right, on you. Right, OK. But it's not from the sun. Oh. Because that's not good for your skin. The sun's not good for your skin? Not in large doses, and it takes a large dose to make me tan. And by the time I get burned, and then it just goes away and I'm white again. It's not worth it. It just does nothing. I have Croatian and Irish background, and I don't tan. Croatian and Irish? Oh, you, you really like to drink, don't you? <laughs> Pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> so, Jenny Elfman, everybody. The show's accidentally on purpose or Project Runway, whichever you prefer. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Please welcome the lovely Jenna Elfman, everybody. Jenna. Girl, you are looking fine. Look at you. You look great. The sparklies and the everything going on with the shoulders and then the hair. Thank you. You had your hair done. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I had to cut it all off. I, I actually, it's something I'd been wanting to do since I was 11. I always wanted to kind of shave it and punk it out. And I was always too scared. And then I was sitting in the hairdresser's chair and kind of, you know, dancing around the idea of having the haircut, you know, pictures. And, you know, and then all of a sudden he pins it up. He's like, we can talk until the day is long, honey. Push. And just like. Wow. The way you said that, it kind of implied that your hairdresser might be a gay man. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's good. He kind of, is. Yeah, yeah. He's he, an amazing hair. Chris McMillan, he's fantastic. Yeah, you outed him right now. You know that, right? <laughs> um, I think he, he's, he's pretty out. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great though. You look sensational, Aww. and you've got you've got young children. And I look have at two you. young, amazing boys that keep me very. No, your age is the because the last time you were here, you were pregnant. I was pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. yeah, and you have a six month old, right? I do. Yes, yes. indeed. So you're just as tired as me. I come here to sleep. I understand. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah my youngest is sixteen months, so you're okay. almost a year and a half. Right. So you you you'll be getting some sleep now. He's all right. Just. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and my, my oldest son will be four this week. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. the four's fine. He's you get, now you sleeping get him up the, the chimneys in uh, yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come there, well, that's when I started up the chimneys, yeah. working for Mr. Scrooge. Yeah, he's doing amazing. He's like, he rides his bike with no training wheels, like all of Wait, his own. Well, you might want to have him checked. That's three. too early. No, it's too early. He might be a super genius. I, I'm pretty sure he's. Do you think all parents think their kids are really uh, smart? Well, no. <laughs> Some parents talk about my kid like, oh my god, you know what I mean? Like, talk about your kid or their no. kids? No, they don't talk about. Oh, that Elfman kid's kind of weird. Uh, well, not not to my face. No, no, they wouldn't. No, they um, wouldn't. No. I I kind of I wonder because I look at my own. I've got two boys as well, but yeah. my older boy's ten, and now he's you know he's got a bit of an attitude problem. Oh, what does he do? He disagrees with me sometimes. Uh huh. Uh huh. My my little one. Uh, the other day we were trying to get him in a bath because he just decided that he doesn't like to take baths anymore. Right. And um, so, so we're, a, we're yeah. negotiating, yeah. and and my husband's like, we you can't have st stinky balls, you know. Um, and because you say that we don't here, right? We normally say that word on this show. So. 
Yeah, we'll work I thought it. I'd just rebel yeah. and say the word. You're crazy. Since you had your punk rock haircut, you've yeah. gone crazy. I know. I've lost yes. it. Yes. And my son goes, we, like, and we don't want a kid that stinks and that you got to, like, take care of your body and keep it clean. He goes, that's not my deal. That's your deal. Whoa! Four? Three. He's not even four yet. When this happened, he was three. Oh, man, you were in for a tough He's like, that's not my problem. That's your problem. Yeah. You know what? He's right, though, kind of. I, I know. I always try and stay in with the young people. <laughs> I like your nail polish, by the way. That's very. He picked it out for me. You're really the three-year-old. Mm -hmm. I think you got a punk rocker there. You got the. You, I mean, because you, you get black nail. Po is he a goth it's already? It's purple. Purple. It's dark purple. Uh, yeah. See, any dark color in this lighting it just, goes just goes black. becomes black. Yeah. It's, it's that we don't really have much going on. Yeah. Now, tell me about the show, the uh, movie. The, yeah. You play Justin Timberlake. Like sis uh, yep. Sister. <laughs> Some real character work there. No. Um, yeah, I'd never really played anyone's sister before. And Is there a um, difference to playing someone's sister than uh, just playing someone who's human? Well, normally it's a love interest thing, you know. Oh, and as a I leading see. lady, it's yeah. usually like a romantic dynamic. Yeah. And so this was like a sister dynamic. And then Richard Jenkins playing our father. So I had a mother, I had a father-daughter dynamic and a brother-sister dynamic. But you didn't have a sexy love dynamic? Does that freak you out a little bit? No. It, it was does okay. a little bit, does it? No, I've been with my husband 20 years. I got it at home. I know, I know, but every now and again, you like to go... And I've had it my whole career. It's been awesome. Right, okay then. Oh, yeah. No, I get to make out with awesome guys a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. No, no, no. no. Oh. You know, Jeff, Jeff and I sometimes. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah he's over yeah. there. Yeah. Me yep. too. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he had to say to that. That's all he had to say, but it took him that long to say it. <laughs> So listen, did your husband ever get mad then that you've been when you're making out with people on no. films? Does he go like, you know, really, do you have to make out with that dude? Couldn't we just CGI it in later or something? No, he's an actor, so he understands. Yeah, right, and yeah, you know, a part of I think why we've been together for 20 years and been able to maintain it is because we're just open and honest. And no, I'll be like, I'm gonna go make out with him today. I'm so excited, and he'll be like, enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. You you people are weird. What to am me, I supposed you know, to pretend yeah. like I don't like making out with all these cute boys when I come home? Like I can't, I cannot live with those secrets. Hey, th you see, that's great because that's their deal. That's not your deal. That's exactly. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> Did you get along well with Timberlake then? Ever you yeah. you're doing all right? Oh yeah, he was. You know, I they had been filming for like a month by the time I showed up, and so oh. you never know. Like you're walking into a, a crew that's been together for a long time, and he right. was just immediately like in the hair and makeup room, really. Communicate. He was not aloof at all. He right. was just like engaging and teasing me and present. Teasing you? Yeah. I don't remember what for at the moment. But mm. He was teasing. They say he smells a bit like lavender. I didn't nuzzle him, so I'm not sure. Really? Mm -mm. All right. And listen, we're out of time already. Do you want to uh, touch my glittery ball, uh, which is fine because you're an actor? Or you can touch. Uh, Why does Monica, it touch or, my tweet? Touch my tweet? Is no. it, it in your emails? No. On the email segment, didn't it say touch my tweet? <laughs> it, it, it or might touch my Twitter. Uh, what did it say? The whole thing before you went into the email thing, there's like a oh, whole little thing commercial. That, that I don't watch the show. <laughs> Know what's on it. I was just gonna tell you that you can touch my Twitter because I'm on Twitter too. Oh, you're on the Tweety? I am. What's your Tweety handle? At Jenna Elfman. It's very easy. Yeah, that's And I've been easy. mentioning you in my tweets lately, and you have not acknowledged me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was teasing you. And you're going. Uh huh. But you don't smell like lavender. No, I don't. <laughs> No, I don't. Even if I pour lavender all over my body, I don't smell like lavender. Some other smell yeah, just yeah. might just come through. It just becomes something else. Lavender, oh, crappy sorry. smell. <laughs> lavender, feet. Oh. Uh, Some like like So that. we have to decide. Uh, oh, no, glittery ball all the way. Uh, but, see, my problem with the glittery ball thing is I haven't really thought it through. I don't really know what to do with it. One night we had a good thing where uh, we pretended it was uh, like the movie Ghost. And, you know, <laughs> the glittery ball spun around and you hold the front of it and I come around the back and, you know. Come down the back of me. Yeah, and then I do all that. Yeah, Have nah, you done that with anyone yet? Yeah. <laughs> so it would be a glittery ball ghost. Like, if yeah. you did it again with me, it would make you a slut? Oh, I was a slut long before I came here. I'll be a glittery ball slut with you. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, my love. Oh, Jenny everybody. What? 
The lovely Jenna Elfman, everybody. Jenna Elfman. It's you know, like, I just have to come into your trashy you're, you're, house. All right, I'll clean it up. Stay, sit down. What a gentleman down. are you? Sit down, out loud. Max. I don't make gentlemen in Scotland I'll anymore. Get up. Come on. Come on. Can While you're down there. Yeah, I know. I was going to say. <laughs> Mistress, I've been naughty. I left everything lying everywhere. All right, I'll put it away. How are you? you good? I'm really good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, you look good. I like this fishing net thing on the top here. <laughs> That's very sexy, that. <laughs> Do you enjoy the power ballads? The uh, the whoo. You know, I was that was I was in junior thing? high and high school in the eighties, so oh. that was my those are all my themes for every horrible thing that ever happened to me. Oh come on, you were fine. You were ever you were the. Well, I am. I'm okay. Yeah, no, but you you would have been very popular in high school. Beautiful, tall, blonde girl like you. No. no? Uh, what kind of high school did you go to? Uh, you know, it wasn't the school, it was me. It oh, was, think, things look different? It was different. bad. No, I wore headgear and buck teeth. Not the neck hair you could hide under your hair. It was like on my head. Really? The, the, the most, the least popular or most unpopular, however you'd like to phrase it, um, kid in school named Alpheus. Alpheus? Yep. Did you go he to school off-world somewhere? <laughs> it was a Greek Orthodox school I Oh, went I to. see. Yeah, so yes, his name was Alpheus Romeo. If he's watching now, I just want to say. I hope he doesn't have a lawyer, Jenna. <laughs> he called me Bucky Beaver. Wow. You know they have and beavers in Canada. Stop. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so, uh, listen, tell me that this show damages. This is a yeah, great show. It's this is awesome. A, no, I haven't seen you in a role like this before. This I is know, like this is like. No, it's so like. Do you, yeah, do you get into trouble? Does bad stuff happen to you? Because that show, mm -hmm. bad stuff happens to people on that show. You? I am the one to whom bad things happen that kicks off the entire fist. Someone calls you Bucky Beaver? <laughs> it's, um, I, I can't, you know, it's, the writing is so intricately. Spectacular, it's, spectacular, yeah. It's awesome, and there's so many twists and turns in a whodunit that I don't want to say too much. Right. And I don't know that I'm allowed to because it really, it's so much more fun if you're just, if you don't know. And that Glenn Close, she's been here. She frightens me. <laughs> Frightens me. It's so funny. My my first impression of her meeting her, I was so caught off guard because I thought she was going to be a rather serious woman, and she mm. was just like a giddy little schoolgirl. She we, was just... We're not talking about the same person, clearly. Wow. When she was here, she was very strict with me. She made me clean up all the papers. And... Oh no, wait, that was somebody else. Are you very neat around your house? Does that really bother you? Are you well, a neat? My story and my husband's story are two different oh, stories. Oh, for heaven's right? sake. No witchcraft in the house, Samantha. <laughs> now, do, do, are you very, very neat? Um, look, I have two young children. Yeah, all right. So they the are my priority, trash. not right, cleaning yeah. up. Um, when I'm alone, like when I was traveling back, because we filmed Damages in New York, and so right. I was going back and forth almost weekly for six months. That's intense. In my hotel room, when I was all alone, very orderly. When I'm not being pulled in five different directions is, you know. What age are your kids? Two and four. Oh, your place is a disaster. Uh, utterly. Yeah. 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 But man, I was like, well, I actually am a very neat person, because my husband says he knows exactly the route I walked when I come home, because it's purse, shoes, jacket, bra, you know. That's what, exactly what my wife says to me when I come home. She, that's so nice. She's so accepting. Oh, she does. She's fine with it, as long as I don't annoy the kids. <laughs> I... I um I don't even clean my car anymore because there's so many Cheerios in my car. I know. I, just like, I, I know. I just get sad about it. Yeah, I like, like, like I, I'll clean it two days later. It's like horrific. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. And they, uh, no, I don't. They, and they smell. They smell my kids. Your kids smell? Mm -mm, they smell like vanilla. How do you Honestly, get, I got like the sweetest, you get, yummiest but, smelling kids. It might smell a bit like poo. Actually. <laughs> Oh, the older one, the older one's fine. He's growing out of it How now. Old are he, they? No, he's fine. He's 11. He's great. He's yeah. driving. A car. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a job, and it's, uh, he's fine. But the factory, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, he cleans chimneys. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the, uh, but the, the little one, he's, How old? he's 16 months. Yeah, that's pretty stinky. Yeah, did you just? Oh, you clearly don't know him. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's pretty smelly. Are you good? You're not squeamish about that kind of thing, are you? No, as a woman, we made them. You're not squeamish about any of it. Well, but you made. Well, I'm talking about poo here. I know. 
already made their bodies. It's like it's. Oh, all, I see. Uh, it's all the same. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> I was going to say something really horrible, and I'm not going to. But I'm enjoying thinking about saying it and then by saying it. Do you have a nice time in New York? Uh -huh. living, in a living in a hotel when your kids are back here. I mean, I bet you miss them, but. It ebbed whoa. and flowed. No, sometimes it was awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, oh, yeah. yeah give the people for who laughed the truth. at me are not parents, because yeah, clearly you don't clearly, understand yeah. needing a day away from Do you know what kids. I like? I like when people say, I don't have kids, but I've got a dog. I'm like, uh -uh. Uh, what the hell are no. you talking about? Zero. Yeah, I was like, yeah, None. I can just leave the kids in the yard and go down to the store. Yeah, just put them in their cage yeah, when like, you go. Uh, leave the kids in the sure. car, let's go in and get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You can't no. do that. Um, I would sometimes, you know, uh, if I had to just work for one day, I would stay, I would put my kids down to bed and then I'd go get on a red eye, land, go straight to the set, film. If I wrapped in time, I'd get right back on a plane. I, I was trying to just do as much, you know, the least amount of time away from them as possible. That's pretty intense though. It right? is, yeah. but I felt good... like I was working hard wearing both my hats in my life and it felt kind of good to just do that, you know? Yeah. But then if I was, it was a, if I had more days to film, I would bring them, you know, and they had their first freezing, they've never been in freezing Those weather. California kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it was, <laughs> it was one of those seasons where, you know, you round a corner and it's like wind chill and like snow uh, and- you're making me homesick now. I didn't, yeah. I know. I didn't have the right cover to like cover their stroller, you know? So it was just coming in their face and they're like, <gasps> For like honestly, two hours. It was. It That's was, I, I'm. I've become a bit like that now. I've been here in California too long. I'm yeah. very wimpy about it. Yeah. Like I when bet. I when I see you know the LA local news when they say Stormwatch 2000, yeah. like, I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> I don't go out. Light drizzle. Are oh, you becoming? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm light drizzle. I, I won't go out now. I'm like, yeah, you're mm, all like, squirm. It's frightening. How can you drive in that? The roads are damp. Yeah. <laughs> this are is you, so non sequitur. I mean, so non sequitur, but when you did that, yeah, that's really hot. <laughs> that's well, really sexy. Oh, you made the tattoo? Yeah. Uh, Poking over. out of your suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> non sequitur. Well, I, you know, sometimes. I didn't know you had it, so I was backstage watching the monitor, and you reached your arm down. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I just had to. Sometimes when things seconds, pop out sorry. your suit, women are like, whoa, look at that. <laughs> up and now I'm embarrassed. Yeah, that, that though, that is a very woman thing to do, if you don't mind me saying so. It's like, you bring a little bit mm -hmm. of the kind of sexiness to the conversation and then if I respond to it, you go, oh, I'm like, well, wait, 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 you started it. I'm like, totally. yeah, oh, you're so dirty, Craig. <laughs> like, I didn't even say it. I was talking about your kids and you're like, mm-hmm, little dee dee. Anyway, we have to take a break. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tidy up while we do it. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jen Elf. Welcome back, everybody. We don't talk during the break. Excuse us, we're not talking. We're not. We're, I was, uh, something poked out of my face. <laughs> uh, would you ever get a tattoo? I have one. Oh, really? Where? Hmm, how do I show it to you? <laughs> if I lift my leg up, it'll be slightly inappropriate, but it's on the back of my ankle. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. What is it? Uh, it's two. One is, I got it when I was 19. <laughs> it's an alchemy symbol that's supposed to point up and to the right. Right. And it means an element in its pure form before it's been altered. Right. Um, but that looked weird on the back of my ankle, so I turned it upside down, facing down. <laughs> but then I figured one of my legs up in the air. <laughs> you know, I've always liked you. That's very, very thoughtful. I know. I was 19. Yeah. And then the other's just a star, which a star. is just a little thing with a friend of a, it's not worth the story. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to tell me. It's really not worth the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Uh, so we're done. What do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? No, I want the big cash prize. Uh, I thought you might. These are yeah. tough times. Yes, I understand. What time is the show? It's time for the big cash prize. $50,000 
50 American dollars in quarters. Yeah. Don't touch it until you earn it. In quarters. That's uh, awesome for parking meters. Yes, exactly so. Right. Do I have to donate it to charity if I win it? No. <laughs> you have to declare it on your taxes, though. Okay. <laughs> like everybody else who gets cash. <laughs> So there are three ways to win. Okay. You can either answer a question in one of these cards here. You can uh, guess what's in do my. Do I have to have a big IQ for those? No. Okay. No. I've got a feeling you're going to do all right in this whole thing. Okay. All right. So you can either answer a question. You can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You tell me what you think is in it. If you're right, you win the money. If you're wrong, and there's a third and new way to win. You can guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking. We have imagined a scenario where Her Majesty the Queen has been wrongly imprisoned. Oh. And we're trying to think, what is she thinking? Get that correct, you win the money. Get it wrong, hung by the neck. Oh, I'll just go for that. Okay, guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking? Mm -hmm. You sure you want to do this? Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? Mm. What am I thinking? <laughs> um, do I, do I have to say it in her voice? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> what am I thinking? Oh, that Pippa is one hot piece of ass. <laughs> Jail cells so long I've started to find women attractive. Yes, the answer is correct. It is right. What do you say? Get out and from the American dollars. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Get out, man, everybody. Get out. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you, you look sensational, but you must be freezing. Um, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I'm not sweating. It's not hot. No, it's, it's cold, but you, yeah. you look great, and that's all that matters in really, Hollywood. Really, at the end of the day, right. it's only how you look. <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic. It's very fashion forward. That, that. Hey, no. I was just saying you were a bit askew, and well, I it's, you know, it's the cold. It shrinks up. <laughs> So, uh, were, you at the, uh, were you at the Golden Globes last night? Well, I was planning on it, oh. and then, like Meryl Streep, I fell ill. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, I had a crazy week last week. I did, like, a couple 22-hour days, three airline, you know, three flights, three cities. You were flying airplanes as well? As yeah. <laughs> Accomplished pilot. Ah, I like that. No, but we were at the White House meeting Obama, and it was... What? Why? 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 Because you're in a show about the White You get invited to the White House? Really? <laughs> Uh, it worked out that way. Actually, one of our executive producers used to be his speechwriter for three uh, years. And um, it was an inside job, that thing, so. Well, wait, wait, wait. The, the president has speeches written for him? I thought he just, like, winged it. I know. I thought he was like, yeah, well, let me tell you what I think about this. Whoa, what? And yeah. just like, no? Uh, I think probably not since Abraham Lincoln um, has. <laughs> Did you see that movie? Yeah. Uh, is it good? Um, yeah. I mean, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, it was a really uh, well executed, beautifully uh, acted film, and it was very educational, too. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> you snorted you brought there. Out yeah, the yeah. Snort it, it got a little snort. I like yeah. it when I make you snort. It, it, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in the, you play the first lady. I do. Oh, yeah. That, that was an that's... intimidating uh, endeavor at first. Really? Well, I don't immediately like think of myself. Oh as, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'd be like, yeah, you'd be a great first lady. Thank you. Yeah, you'd be. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I'd be <laughs> fantastic. I mean, it's it's switching it up a little, but I like yeah. it. I I think it's yeah. I 
actually yeah. am really, really having a great time with the show. Are you very? You must be quite confident, though. Uh, to, you're quite a confident person, aren't you? I mean, mostly. It, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's a good. Thing I mean, it's be. like I worked hard at, at it, but um, uh, you know, it's not like I was just always just so confident. But no, no, no. I understand. Yeah, because I you, think as you pr as you you know overcome obstacles in life and accomplish a few goals and and have kids along once you have way, kids as well. You know. Having kids can make you pretty fearless. I think so because then you're like you don't care what people you're like people are like oh look at that you're like I don't care I've yeah. seen poo coming out. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know, and also you you well for me anyway I can't speak for every mother obviously but it's certainly um, you are now responsible for something so beautiful and lovely and it brings out this amazing side of you that you know all happily you know the defensive dutiful position that you I think that's that's for mothers I think what it what it brings out for me I think fathers is, just turn the other way and run yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it brings out a kind of cranky lack of sleep animal in absolutely do that, you that get, I mean your kids are a bit older now though aren't they? Uh, well my five-year-old's here he's five and a half he would want me to say that well wait wait hi you, story can He's we, backstage. He's watching right now? Yeah. He wanted to come out. <laughs> he wanted to come out real bad, but then we realized you have to, he's not old enough. No, no, or indeed old enough really to be watching the show. <laughs> Are you very strict in what you let him watch? Uh, Jimmy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am, because there's plenty of time for them to plenty catch up on all the craziness. For watching a creepy foreigner in a basement. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we wow. try and keep it, uh, you know. Did you have a nice time when you were in Washington, though, when you were doing the the, uh, the tour? Have you, did you go around the thing, the big, you know, Lincoln Memorial? And um, I did, we were only there for, we, a day. And I flew out that night because I had to do press in New York the following morning. So you have a very tight schedule. It's almost it like crazy. you lived the life of the First Lady already. And the show is fantastic. And we're so excited to share it with everybody. So... So that's why that's why you didn't go to the Golden Globes then, because you got sick. I, I, I was in bed, uh, barely holding it together, while my boys were like climbing and jumping on me. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Did you watch? Did I watch? Did you watch the Golden Globes? Oh no, oh. bless you. No, no. Did you watch them? Uh huh. Oh man, I, I was curious. What were you doing? <laughs> Yeah, there's other stuff to do. No. You watch the Golden Globe, see a bunch of people that I see every week on here. All going, oh. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. That was tinkering. No, I won't ask further. Oh, in the garage? In yeah. your man cave? Yeah, 1968 Ford Bronco. I was tinkering. That's awesome. I had a 69 Ford Bronco. <laughs> Jeff, is that a sex thing? <laughs> yeah, you know it is. <laughs> it was also what they call topless. That's definitely a sex thing. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll get out. We'll be right back. And you're doing the show on NBC. It's NBC you're doing it. It's NBC, and I saw you spit earlier. I had something in my teeth. From yeah. No, I get you nothing can against spit. NBC. Just keep it away from my show, because my show. No, I no. know it was a network thing. No, no, I, I get nothing against NBC. They're fabulous people. I've always enjoyed what they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. I, I've got, no. I've never done any dealings with them actually, and all the time I'm happy to say that I've been in late night television. They've never threatened my career. That's. <laughs> That's, that's specifically CBS that have done that. That's, uh... Um, yeah, I'll yeah, stay out Yeah, yeah, I'll let it go, yeah. But yes, my show, 1600 Pet, is on NBC. Is it, what time is it on it? It's on at 9.30 after so the they, So you can do rude jokes then? Um, yeah, but we don't do well, then, rude jokes. What, why not? Uh... You the, gotta, everybody wants rude jokes these days. Well, I think there's other programming they can tune into to get the rude jokes. Ours is where, sharp. Where, where, where? I, I don't know. Here? Here. 
Uh, We've done a few already, just amongst us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, You've I gotta fix this again. I'm right. sorry, it's very distracting. <laughs> if you're gonna pull my tie, can you give my hair a little tug at the back as well? Hey, hang on, hang on, that's actually working. So, uh... <laughs> that's like... I was like, it's all fun and laughter until somebody's like, oh, hey. <laughs> well, we're out of time, Jenna. Uh, do, you want a, do you want a coconut or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got some. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? what? No, I want the quarters. Well, I've got the coconuts that. out, though. I've got the coconuts out. All right, uh, then I'll put the coconuts back. I won the quarters last time. Yeah, I've I not really been you. doing this much anymore. I get it's, uh, you know, but you can have it. All right, well, no, big it cash really points. got me through a lot of parking meters for like the whole year. It was All right, awesome. well, you and I thought of you every time I put a quarter in a parking meter. I was like, Fergie. <laughs> tonight is a beautiful actress. We like to have beautiful actresses oh, here, yes don't we? Oh, yes we do. Yes we do. <laughs> well, my first guest is a beautiful actress. She stars in Growing Up Fisher with the series finale is on May the 28th. Uh, the lovely Jenna Elfman, everybody. Jenna Elfman. <laughs> You look well, great. Thank you. It has pockets, which is kind of... That's... They're great fun. pockets. <laughs> they're really good. I really like that little castle bit in the front as well, like what's inside my I know, it's a little curiosity you know. creature right there, isn't it? It's not it's very fashion forward, though. I like it. Oh, my God. Thank you. No, really good. Kind of Studio 54-ish, I suddenly feel I like I should be like... Just going around, you know. No, I kind of like it. That's that's the kind of thing that's going on, right? The thin belt. That's kind of seventies, isn't it? What, are you reading Vogue or what? Yeah. <laughs> I like I like seeing the ladies dressed up and yeah. stuff. And I love cats. What are you? Uh... <laughs> that's a thing, you know. That's a body. That's a thing when you. Pick... I did it to you before. There's something about that area. I'm just. Mm. I have. Uh, well, what I do is before you come on the show, I have lint attached uh -huh. oh. here. <laughs> Because I know that you, you're like, it's like catnip to you. If I put Lent there, you'll be like, mm. I am. I, yeah. I know. Are you a meticulously tidy person? No. Well, let me rephrase that. When I'm alone and I don't have my two kids and my husband distracting me, I'm awesome. So, yes. Yeah, we're all awesome when we're on our own. Yeah, so in that, I, like, if I go to a hotel and I'm traveling and by myself, everything is, like, really laid out. Really? And meticulous. Yeah, but when the kids and... My husband says he knows the, the route I took coming home by all the, the bra, the clothes, the, you know, the... The bras? The, the bras, the first thing to come off? They're like, oh, what a day, yeah! Oh. Why not? I wonder if that... See, I... I, you know, I, I don't obviously have that kind of... I'd be like, oh, I'd like taking off your, your shoes. your suspenders like, probably come flying off. Uh, well, The hand yeah, goes but, in the pants. But they're not like, really oh. holding anything together, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, but I love the idea of just, oh, come on, ladies, breathe. Ah. <laughs> There's something to be said for that. I yeah, no, I like it. That's your like, wife's done that, right? And I don't think you probably complain when she does it. No, no, I'm there saying slower, slower. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what age are your kids now? Uh, where? Uh, yeah, where are your kids are now? They? No, no, what age are they now? Uh, eight, four and six. Oh, that's pretty good age. That's kind of yeah. like you can take them around and they're portable now and stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. like chasing them all over trying yeah. to fall on my face. Or I actually had to get a. Well, this sounds horrible. I don't mean it. I'm a great mom. <laughs> I really am. But uh -huh. I was doing 14 hour days on the show. And right. that's a lot. And I was proud to do it because I'm really proud of the work that we've done. Right. 
But, you know, 6 a.m., what but four, work 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., then you go home and you got two kids jumping all over you, mm -hmm. and every single day for weeks on end. Makes you tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a little tired. So when we finished filming, I was like, I gotta get away by myself. Oh, okay. And we had just rescued this dog, and I went off to Palm Springs by myself to decompress. With the dog or not? With the dog. Okay. Who we had just rescued. Yeah, there's your mistake right yes. there. You're not decompressed. <laughs> There's no decompressing with a rescue dog? No, no, especially one that's still getting over health issues. We had to go to the vet because yeah. he was having issues. And then well, he tore up the Well, what does that room. mean, issues? What, what does that mean? Oh, he... What, his he... paws were flappy? <laughs> like, oh, I can't even bark, I'm so tired. Uh, no, that was me. Oh, right, okay. Um, no, he was like peeing blood, so... Oh, 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 dear Lord. <laughs> I know. Oh, awesome. you enjoyed that, didn't you? You grossed everybody out. You're I know, well, that's why I was trying to skip You're a over naughty, it. naughty girl. You made me say it. I didn't make you say it. You enjoyed you made saying me it. Say it. So anyway, I had to take so you... him to the vet, and then he ended up. I, I was with him the whole time, and then I was like, okay, I need to just go have dinner by myself. Wait, wait, does the dog die in this story? Because no. this is no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. No, he ended up tearing the room up. He, like, literally chewed the blinds. Uh oh. And destroyed the room. He was on these, like, you know, omega 3 oils, like, because he was at the vet. Anyway. So he's an LA dog. He's an LA like, dog. Yeah. So, dog is going to need so much kale and a massage. I know. And it's going to need to see a dog psychotherapist. It was really not my thing, but they suggested it. So, okay. I went. But he spilled that all over the rug and then the oil all over the hotel rug. The blinds were shredded. And then the whole way home, he got car sick and puked all over my husband's car. Oh. Two times! I pulled off the freeway, went wait, to the drugstore. I thought you were, don't you, you have your own car, don't you? Why did you take your husband's car? You took your uh. husband's car because you knew the dog <laughs> was going to throw up. And, and you're laughing because you know I'm right. Well, it's on national television, okay. Yeah, I, I had to stop at a drugstore, get a new dog bed, then he puked all over that. And yeah, that was that was a great decompression trip. What did you what did you call the dog? Rocco. Rocco, that's a good name for a dog. It's a good name for a dog that trashes hotel rooms. I know he's like a rock star musician, yeah, like yeah, fussy no, guy cool, that trashes yeah. hotel rooms. Hey, yeah, uh, that's Rocco there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you can't stay here, Rocco. <laughs> Rawr, what are you talking about? Rawr. You know, I just saw a dog like him walking down the street on my way here, and he, the dog had like a little mohawk, and I thought it was really cool looking, so I think I'm going to do that. Once his hair grows out from being shaved... Mohawks because... are over. Don't do... Only jerks have got mohawks now. <laughs> well, he did trash the room and puke all... What the hell, man? What the hell, man? It was a joke, man. I was just wondering if you were awake or not. That's all. Well, trash your hotel room and kiss my ass, man. <laughs> We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jenna Alvin. We'll be right back. I'm sorry the commercial break was longer than usual, but, uh... <laughs> Jenna had to go backstage and uh, fix... What was wrong? You had to take your brow off or something? Well, they were, um, you know, hearing something with my mic. I think my boobs were just competing with me. Or... Do you have boobs that make noise? <laughs> because that kind of talent will get you into the Cirque du Soleil, my friend. Well, that's my favorite. So, yeah. 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 Sing opera. Really? Yeah. Who's the best singer, righty or lefty? <laughs> <laughs> they harmonize. Oh, ho, ho. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, why do I love talking trash with you so much? Because you're a dirty, naughty girl, and I kind of like bring it out of you. You oh, like it? It is. I do. And it's harmless. We, you know, it's all fine. But at the same time, is it harmless? It is. But is it? No. You slapped me pretty hard when you hit my leg, Darado. Okay. Can you just pull my hair at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, that actually is pretty good. Hey, do you camp? Is, that, co is that code for something? I'll talk to you backstage. Yeah, then. yeah, no. Camp? Do you go camping? Are you a camper? No. Oh, well, fine. No, I, I did some extreme camping uh, in the 1980s. And what does that involve? Uh, you know, sleeping in the street. <laughs> 
That's kind of ex oh. extreme, you know, total yeah. camping experience. Yes, I gotcha. <laughs> That's the 3D version. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. right. Are you going camping? Is I'm going camping tonight. Tonight? Well, I'm flying up and driving in. My husband's already there with my six-year-old to Yosemite. You see, oh, Our lovely. first family camping trip. Oh, oh that'll be great. Tent. You'll be awesome. <laughs> oh, it'll be great. Whose yeah. uh, car is up there? Yours my or hus uh, My husband, mine. Oh, the puke yeah, car put, or the good one? No. All right. He put the miles on mine. Well, you yeah. put the dog puke on his. <laughs> So we're even. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, yeah. we're out of time. Oh, well, nice talking to you. Well, uh, hey, uh, come back, though, and tell us how the camping trip went. Okay, I would yeah. love to. Yeah, you should. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Then I can, like, clean you up and... <laughs> I promise I'll go like that next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that now if you <laughs> want, yeah. Get <laughs> open, everybody. We're right back.